Mockingbird Kitchen has been serving up comfort food here in Fayetteville for the last four years. And with their business taking a hit right now, they had to apply for loans to help them get through the difficulties. The pandemic has not been kind to local restaurants like Mockingbird Kitchen. We're currently only doing 25% of our sales mm -hmm. that we were normally doing. So it's quite a big, quite a big drop. They were approved for the Paycheck Protection Program and received that loan this week. The owners say it'll take some weight off their shoulders for the next couple of months when it comes to paying rent, utilities, and most importantly, their employees. Holding on to our staff, um, a lot of them we had to, you know, cut back whenever we had to close our dine-in service. So what we're going to try and do is bring them back so when, when not if, um, we can reopen our dining room, we'll be all set and ready to go. Congressman Steve Womack believes getting funds back into the program as soon as possible is essential for businesses to stay alive. Think of what would have happened had paycheck protection not been afforded the Arkansas small business and how many more people would have flooded the unemployment lines. So every day that goes by that we're not doing this is another day that we're leaving a whole lot of uncertainty on the table and Arkansas business business in general does not respond well to uncertainty. In the meantime, the owners of Mockingbird Kitchen say they'll just continue to do what they know best, serve food to their community. We're just going to have to be flexible, roll with it, and be kind. You know, remember, it's everybody's first pandemic. We're all doing the best we can. So that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to do, you know. In Arkansas, over $2 billion worth of paycheck protection loans have been approved so far. Live in Fayetteville, Cole Zimmerman, 4029 News.